hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to start the admin panel in the laravel okay so we are going to build an admin panel or admin dashboard in laravel package okay so guys let's get started with that so first step you have to download the exam exam okay so this is your exam for the if you want to create a laravel i mean any php programming so first you have to download this and install it so i have already installed it and you have to just click download and just give next 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 it will get installed okay so the next thing is that you have to use one editor uh, whichever editor you are comfortable with it you can use that so i use uh, visual studio code okay visual studio code download okay so is the thing this is the link for this and you can download it so i have already this visual studio code so it's over here so and you have to just normally install it okay and then download one git bash okay so type git bash git bash download so this is a git bash and this is used as a command prompt okay so as normal if you use uh, um command uh, like you go and use like start cmd so this is your command prompt right so instead of this i am going to use a git bash so that is over here when you right click it after installation so it is same like um command prompt only but it gives uh, it has many features so with the visual studio code it is supported okay so for that sake we are using this and yep so main thing you have to download your composer also so just composer download okay so after downloading a composer just install that and download all the things okay so this is your thing now you can just run into the thing i mean command prompt or you can just download it over here it is yeah download and run this execution file that's it so now let's go to laravel documentation so laravel dot com okay so first step and yes guys so this is the laravel and you have to click on the documentation and download the file okay so for that let's click on documentation and you can install the laravel and create a new blog or a new laravel application okay so first step you have to install this so just give right click and uh, after installation of git bash you can find like this something else okay so you can just copy this control c and paste it on it okay so i have already done it installation so i'm not going to install this so i'm just ignoring this part and yep so next step we are going to um download i mean uh, install this laravel application okay so either if you are installing in globally or uh, you can use this or else you can directly install this one okay so any of the command you can use it so i'm going to use this so let me git bash open git bash and uh, change your drive okay so c drive so inside c drive exam hst docs and give enter okay so now you are in the hst docs root okay so now what you have to do is that um now you have to type this what this laravel new blog okay so it's over here laravel new blog blog or give blog laravel whatever you if you give that and give hit enter okay so it will get installed so for this installation part i have already done it so i'm going to show you which is inside the hst docs folder okay so let's go to the folder and uh, this is my c drive exam hst docs and this is my blog laravel 
okay which you have given on the command prompt and hit enter then it will install it into your laravel blog okay so this is my code now and let's open this with the vs code okay so if you have installed a vs vs code editor so that will when you click on right click it will open it okay so let's open that first and okay so as the editor okay it's here it's loading now and it's opening the files um mm, why it's taking time okay yeah it's loaded okay so guys this is the welcome page it will show you so let's close this page welcome page and this is my editor okay text editor we are using this vs code and uh, yeah so first thing so yeah so guys now after uh, opening your application okay into the editor so now let's download the uh, one admin template okay so i am going to choose the now ui kit templates okay so admin templates so i just hit enter and now ui admin template if you type the first option comes the ui dashboard now ui dashboard and uh, we will download this one okay so it is pretty nice and cool to use it so i like this template so it is free also okay so i'll show you live demo so let's click on preview live and it's loading so this is the output guys and uh, yep so this is the dashboard so you can see all the things whatever the card is there bootstrap is there whatever the tables you have used and how it is okay so it's really nice looking cool so you can we can use this for our things uh for the template purpose so you can just use this for the pop up message after the successful enter whatever you want at the right corner top right so we can use this into so it's best so i'm going to download this so just click on free download and it will ask for the password or you can just uh, create or you if you can log in with your google account okay so just log in with your google account right so i have already logged in and downloaded it okay so you can just log in and directly you can come to it and then click on free download it will automatically download it okay your product is being downloaded okay so yeah it's see ya so i have already downloaded it so i'll just going to okay it's already downloaded so let's go back left fine so let us close this closed and this is downloaded so let's go to windows e if you press if you are a windows user just type windows e and let's go to downloads and you can find over here one file okay so this is a zip file which we have downloaded it now from here from this google chrome so let me close this and let's go on downloads and extract this okay so i have already extracted this file and it's over here okay so guys now this is a folder this is a folder and for the admin panel so this is the thing okay so i will show you the output of this and let's open this so after opening we are getting one admin okay and the docs so these two are so let's see admin and it is showing all the details okay so not admin um it's it's my full okay so let me delete this one and extract it extract new one and i will show you the output for this okay so extract all so i will extract it over here itself and let's extract that and wait for the completed completion okay so it ex extracted now so guys let's open this so we are finding assets and examples so this is the assets whatever it is css as font demos okay and uh, the examples are nothing but are files which is the output of it okay so designs and this documents is nothing just a template for the their uh, advertising purpose okay so guys now let's go to our
blog laravel where we have installed that using the command prompt okay so now let's get back to our this one and let's copy the assets okay so let's copy this asset and go to blog laravel and go to public okay so open that public file open and inside that just paste that okay your assets folder so let's paste it uh let's reload once again and it's over here okay so let's get back to the blog laravel file and let's go to our dashboard i mean download downloaded file okay so these are the examples so let's copy this all where into your blog laravel so what i'm going to do is that i will rename this file as admin okay so i have renamed it and let's copy this folder so let's copy this and go back and just paste it inside your resource folder okay so beyond your laravel blog application so where is your resource this is your resource folder and views inside views i'm going to paste the folder okay so let's paste that and it's over here right so let's refresh and yeah so let's get back to the blog laravel file okay so now open with your editor okay so i have already opened it and let's check into this okay so yep so inside public we have paste the assets and find our css things and inside resource folder we have paste our admin folder that is views and admin okay so let's execute this first and see whether our application is working or not okay so just give a uh, run your command prompt or a git bash whatever you use it okay so let's execute the out and let's see the output of this first so let's type php artisan serve okay and let's hit enter and it comes it is starting the session okay i'm in route so let's wait for the output started and let's get back and type local host colon 8000 okay and let's hit enter and it is loading and we will get the output of laravel blog okay so welcome to this is the laravel so this is the um welcome page of uh, laravel blog which is inside the resource folder views folder inside views welcome blade.php file so i'm clicking on that and it's opened and now this is the code okay so it's down over here and it's telling over here okay so this is laravel and let's tell that welcome to laravel okay welcome to laravel blog right and save it let's reload the control r and welcome to laravel blog so you have understood which is this file now okay so this is the file and it is called by the help of route okay so let's go to route folder web.php file and this is the route where it is showing the um at the slash it is showing this file okay so it's none and if i give like funda slash and give now save your file so let's reload this it will say file not found okay so for not for found a uh, not found so if i give slash funda then it will tell laravel welcome to laravel blog because we have given the route called funda okay so let's remove that save it and let's get back to the main file and tell welcome to laravel blog okay so now our thing is that so file execution is done and now guys we will set the admin panel okay so first step we will go we will close all this okay so this is our um application now let's go to resource folder inside resource views so this is our admin folder which we have created and kept over here right so guys now what i am going to do is that i'll just create um 
a new folder called layouts okay so um let's click on right click and create new folder called layouts l a y o u t s layouts okay so this is a layout folder so inside this layout folder i'm going to create new file and called master or i will name it admin or whatever or dashboard so i am going to give master.blade.php file okay just hit enter and master.blade.php file is created so guys now um yeah so let's do the html part inside this okay so before that html thing and all you if you are going to start so before this i will go to admin folder i will go to tables.html file and copy all the contents which is provided by the downloaded template from the nui dashboard okay so let's copy this copy and let's go to master.blade.php which we have just now created and just paste it okay close this and yep so it is pasted now okay so this is the file right now so let me close this table.php and this is the master okay so let's execute this file first okay so what i'm going to tell is that just we will take the main thing and leave all the things okay so now inside admin folder we have unwanted things many things right so what i'm going to do is that i'll just delete all these things okay so let's click each thing and just delete okay so there should be none so let's delete so there is zero okay so inside admin folder no folder is there okay and now what we are going to do is that we will um create a new file inside the admin folder okay so let's create new file called um, dashboard dot blade dot php okay so let's enter and the blade dot php file is created okay so now we will go to layouts inside layouts master dot blade dot php file okay so this is our file now we are going to edit from this okay so let's edit from the starting and this is our title so at title we are going to use yield okay at yield and we'll name it as title okay yeah so after this and we'll go down and this is our sidebar so this is starting of the sidebar and okay so this is telling that you can change the color of your sidebar by typing over here okay so those colors are nothing but blue green orange red yellow okay so you can just type over here and change your navbar color so we will see to that later and yes so let me close this sidebar from the side okay so this is the sidebar and it is closed and this is the navbar admin panel so and this is the navbar so i'm going to close the navbar first okay okay this is the end of navbar and let's divide this from here our header panel starts okay so let's close the content also so this is my content and this is the footer right so it's divided now so guys now let's type as simple thing over here yield that is content okay okay so yield at content so what i'm going to do is that i will just paste inside this okay inside this content okay so these are the things and let's divide this okay so i'm going to paste this yield content inside this content div and i will cut this part okay so let's cut this and let's go to our dashboard and i'll just make a note so in new control n if i give and i'll paste this right now for time being here and let's go to our this one master.blade.php file from there i'm going to set all these things okay so this is my sidebar and this is a navbar 
it is already done and now we will set the scripting file that is over below before the body okay so what i'm going to tell is that yield that is at yield scripts okay just type scripts and done right so it is set now and now let's i have just given one title and inside the content div i have used the yield content and one simple script okay this is the script and i have left all this footer as it is okay done so let's go to the dashboard so inside admin folder you have created a dashboard file okay so now over here we will type extend okay so extends what layouts layouts so layouts means inside your resource folder views you have created a folder called layouts okay so this is a layouts dot what master okay so let's type master done okay so this is a master and let's add a section so that section is title t i t l e title so this title is nothing but your master blade dot php file title so whatever you enter the title over here okay will reflect on this page by this help it will show you on this title okay on this one so set and let's set the section for your body okay so let's a section for the contents so this is content so and let's paste the script one okay so at or just type section and at section where scripts okay scripts so let us see the spelling okay so at the bottom copy this and paste it paste script so contents so inside this now we will tell dash board okay dashboard funda of web it okay done and now let's copy the design which we have kept in a side so i don't require some contents over here so i'll just remove those things and paste the simple thing over here okay so let me show you so we have many unwanted things so i'm going to remove that so here guys i have just cutted that for saving the time okay so it's done so this is a simple table body and this is a table head yes okay so this is a table head table and table head then table body and these are the rows whatever the data is there okay send and it is saved okay so guys now this is that much now and done over here and our master blade is set and let's view the output for this okay so this is no use so i'm going to close this so we are just working on two files that is inside resource folder we have created a layout folder that is master blade and inside admin one dashboard blade okay so let's view this output so let's go to routes and web.php so what i'm going to do is that i'll just copy this for time being now and let's set this so later we are going to learn about how to do controller panel and migration things okay and with the login thing also so guys now let's type over here admin and let's type that admin dot dash board b o a r d okay so it is inside resource folder views folder you will find admin so this is the admin folder and this is the dashboard that is your blade file okay so done and set save it so guys make sure your artisan is served okay done and let's get back and let's reload the page and let's type admin slash admin okay so why it's taking two time okay it's loaded so let's copy this and paste over here okay slash paste enter and your dashboard is ready right so this is a simple table which you have designed it and by using your um admin panel okay
so guys this is the output of the admin status things everything okay and this is the c dashboard fund of web it which we have set it over here it's coming on that okay so guys you can the table is not designed as as the correct thing so that is actually because of the class so we didn't use the class so just use the class that is table okay and let's reload yep it is in the correct format so i just done and now yes so in this video we have completed that how to set the admin panel and installation of laravel and exam git bash vs code everything okay just the basic steps so these are the simple things which everyone can do so guys um yes okay so in next video we'll be learning about how to design a login page and do the with the login session and how to if the admin is logged in then only he should come to this login page and uh, then otherwise it should be on the home page itself okay so in next video will be in coming videos we'll be learning about that okay so yes guys so thank you for watching this video and please subscribe like and share